was there any other major component that you think was really important uh, to having a successful and happy deployment versus an absolute, you know, dumpster fire? Um, you know, I, I think one of the interesting components that comes with uh, the VMware Cloud on AWS service is another VMware tool. And that tool is called VMware HCX. Mm. And that is, it, it's given to you as part of the service. And it, it really is meant to be something that helps you migrate workloads from one site to another. So your typical use case is going to be your on-premises data center into VMC. Um, and, and what HCX allows you to do is it gives you the ability to uh, do basically pair two sites together and through those site pairings and the appliances that you deploy on either end, it allows you to do layer two extensions of your on-premises networks into the cloud. It mm. gives you um, a disaster recovery capability where you can protect VMs from one site into another. And it also gives you the ability to do migration. So you can do something um, like a vMotion, which from the, the VMware side of things is essentially taking your VM and live migrating it from, from one location to another. Or you can do bulk migrations that allow you to essentially replicate VM data. And once it's 99.9% .9 of the way there, you do a little flip cutover from from site A to site B and it reboots into mm -hmm. site B. Um, so HCX is, is one of those tools that really is, is a great option within VMC that kind of helps you to, to easily facilitate some of these migrations and, and some of that hybrid connectivity as you're looking to stand up the VMC service. Yeah, I, I saw a demo of that. Ned, we talked about HCX a little bit a few shows back because it showed up on a Cloud Field Day presentation that I had attended. And it did seem like the easy button for a lot of that. Although, as cool as it is, I was a little scared just about the latency that might be involved between sites and some of the, uh, you, you do need some element of network performance to expect. You know, it, VMware HCX can't defeat physics, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. And and we have run into that for sure because um, the the... It, it is as easy as standing up HCX and clicking the extend network button. And all of a sudden you can have a VM running in VMC that talks on the same network to the ones that are on-prem, but that gateway still exists on-prem and any routing needs to happen on-prem. So if you have, let's say a database VM running in VLAN 110 that needs to talk to an app VM running in VLAN 120, and they're both sitting in VMC, well, that app VM is going to have to travel back down on-prem to the gateway and then back up to VMC to talk to it. Mm. So <laughs> That's not very efficient. <laughs> it is not efficient. Now, I will say um, there is the notion of uh, a, a, new, uh, a new service that's available with VMC called, um, well, it used to be called proximity routing. I think there's a new name for it. And, and it was available and I think is, uh, uh, was a component of the original NSXV data centers um, that, that recently became available again in the newer versions that are running. But it gives you the ability to um, essentially uh, uh, fix that latency issue where anything that's running on the cloud side has access to a gateway that lives there and can talk within VMC directly. But uh, again, you know, that, that new option is a part of a different licensing level than what is provided to you for free with HCX. So like anything, there's going to be a cost depending upon what you need. Um, and that really comes down to what your use case is. How long are you going to be in a hybrid phase um, if you're doing a migration? Is it something where you plan on, um, you aren't necessarily evacuating a colo or you are going to leave a half a rack of stuff in there and you plan to have HCX for eternity 
allowing mm. you to be in that hybrid phase. Um, you really have to, you know, kind of dig deep into what the use case is and, and what things look like from a design perspective to, to figure out what components you need, uh, you know, temporarily and, and how long you can get by without something like proximity routing if need be. Thank you.